population. What is it? The concentration of people in a country? A city? The number of people? The definition of population on dictionary.com is the total number of persons inhabiting a country, city, or any district or area. On our Earth, there are a lot of these specific spaces, and consequently, a lot of people in these spaces. But, when population began, humans didn't establish equal distribution. People gathered in places more favorable at the time. Because of this, there are certain places with a higher population than others. To give you an example, Canada has a population of roughly 33,212,000 people and an area of 9,093,507 kilometers square. This gives our country a population density of 3.2 people per kilometer square. So, obviously for Canadians, overpopulation isn't a problem. We rank 228 on a list of 239 countries and dependencies in the world. That's pretty low down there. I mean, we're one of the biggest countries in the world and we have a very small population for our size. A country on the complete other end of the spectrum is Bangladesh. This country has a population of 162,221,000 people, almost five times the amount of Canada. And they have a land area of 143,998 kilometers square. This is roughly 1 60th the size of Canada. Bangladesh has a population density of 1,126.5 people per kilometer square. Think of that compared to Canada. It's ridiculous. It is in places like Bangladesh and Southeast Asia and also Sub-Saharan Africa, shown here, that overpopulation is having a massive toll on the health, resources, and quality of life in the area. Of course, as I said before, as Canadians we don't really need to worry about overpopulation. But, being a citizen of the world, this issue affects me as much as it does anyone around the globe. Overpopulation in cities causes pollution when too many people live in one area for the waste and resources to be managed safely. Unclean water and poor sanitation kill more than 12 million people every year. Population is growing faster than the environment can support in countries like Kenya. In 2009, the country suffered a huge drought with more than a quarter of the population of 38,535,000 people in danger of starvation and without water. There are too many people in the country for the little amount of food left over from the drought to support. Likewise, their forest coverage has been depleted over the last couple years. Deforestation is a massive effect overpopulation has on the region. The United Nations recommends that at least 10% of a country be covered in forest and the overpopulation in Kenya has reduced this amount to only 1.5%. Forests are a source of income, fuel, and a natural magnet for rain in a region. Cutting down forests for short-term gains really affects a country in the long run. Next, there are several reasons overpopulation has become a problem all over the world. In Sub-Saharan Africa, there is little to no family planning or birth control available. The average number of children a woman has in Africa is 7.7. .7. There's also a lack of education concerning birth control and safety. This leads to a population explosion if the massive number of children born exceeds the death rate. Another populous place in our world is Southeast Asia. It's tantalizing for farmers there to have more children in order to have more working bodies at home because for a long time, but less so today, you were better off with more children because of the help they could offer in making a rural living. Today, with urbanization on the rise, families are moving more and more to the city. Even so, their rural values remain and families often end up having more children than they can support. Overpopulation has become too much of a strain on our world. Environmental damage, depleted resources, and starvation are all the hideous results of a population boom. This problem relates less to the westernized countries of Europe and North America and more to places like Sub-Saharan Africa where more problems are definitely not needed. There is no easy way to fix this problem and as some may say, there is no way to fix it at all. Our population on this planet has exploded in the last hundred years and all it's going to do is continue to grow. 
we can't stop it. What we need to do is deal with the issues arising from overpopulation so growth can be sustained. Finding other greener fuels like hydrogen, stopping the depletion of the world's oceans and finding a proper use for waste could make our inevitable increasing population more bearable. We can't stop this problem from growing. We are the problem. What we can do is turn overpopulation into a natural number of people everywhere.